Hi there. Welcome once again to the Science Chef Educational Series on Chemistry. Today we will be looking at the third part of our series on electrolysis. The electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate solution using different electrodes. If you have not watched the first two tutorials on this series, that is, the terms and mechanisms of electrolysis and the factors affecting the preferential discharge of ions during electrolysis, click on their thumbnails at the end of this video to do so. Thank you. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate solution using inert or active electrodes, explain the effect of electrolysis of copper 2 solution using graphite electrodes, and finally, you should be able to explain the effect of electrolysis of copper 2 solution using copper electrodes. Go nowhere, I will be right back after this timeout. Welcome back. The electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate is important in the study of electrochemistry as it is the basis for the purification of copper and other less electropositive metals like silver, gold, platinum, etc. Copper 2 sulfate, made up of aggregates of copper 2 ions and sulfate ions, ionize in water to form an electrolyte made up of copper 2 ions, sulfate ions, hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. The ions migrate to various electrodes based on the law of electrostatic attraction. You will really have to watch the last tutorial video on the preferential discharge of ions to see how these ions migrate and get discharged at the electrodes under different conditions. As our emphasis on this video is on the effects of electrolysis of aqueous copper 2 sulfate. So, in the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate using graphite electrodes, after the hydroxide ions are discharged at the anode as oxygen gas and copper 2 ions are discharged at the cathode as metallic copper deposits, as shown in the anodic and cathodic half equations, the hydrogen ions and sulfate ions remaining in the solution combine to form tetrazosulfate 6 acid, that's H2SO4, thereby increasing the acidity of the resulting solution and decreasing its pH. Also, the gradual removal of the copper 2 ions from the solution as metallic copper causes the blue color of the electrolyte to fade gradually since the presence of the copper 2 ions in solution is responsible for its blue color. And finally, the deposition of the metallic copper at the cathode causes it to increase in size and mass. In the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate, Using copper electrodes, there is no discharge of ions except copper 2 ions at the electrodes. This is due to the interference of the copper electrodes in the electrolytic process. So the copper anode goes into solution and replaces the copper 2 ions deposited at the cathode as metallic copper, as shown in the equations of reactions. At the end, there is no net change in the concentration and composition of ions present so its color and pH remains the same. Also, the replacement of the copper 2 ions in the electrolyte by copper atoms from the anode causes the anode to decrease in size and mass while the deposition of the metallic copper at the cathode makes it increase in size and mass. As stated at the beginning, the principle behind the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate using copper electrodes is applied in the purification of metals and electroplating. If you want us to do a tutorial video on these topics, please drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like this video. Hit the subscribe button and the notification icon to be the first to get notified when the video is published. Thanks for watching. 